My name is Erin Peacock, and I'm a doctoral student here at Tulane. I'm in the dissertation writing phase of the program, so I've finished, you know, comps and prospectus, and I've collected my data. Um, I originally got interested in public health um, as a Peace Corps volunteer in Tanzania, right out of college. Uh, I was doing health projects and teaching in a secondary school, um, and got really interested in sort of HIV and malaria, some of the issues that were really affecting my village. Um, came home and enrolled in an MPH program at the University of Arizona. And I studied there for a couple years and then worked at the university for a year afterward doing um, ME monitoring and evaluation. Um, and then decided that I wanted to continue with my studies, so I came to Tulane to pursue the PhD. I'm studying mental illness in Western Kenya. I originally got interested in the topic because I was there doing some field work for another project. Um, I was working with my advisor on her research. Uh, and I was visiting um, churches and traditional healers and faci medical facilities, and I started to see sort of this uh, problem of, of mental illness that was largely being ignored. Um, and so I did a little bit of reading about it once I got home and realized that it's um, a pretty pervasive problem globally. Um, actually, by the year 2030, it's supposed to be the leading cause of disease burden in the world. Um, so I started just, uh, you know, collecting more information about it, reading more, um, and realized that it was something that I wanted to look more into. Uh, so I went back to Western Kenya where the field work, um, the original field work was happening. And I did um, identified women who were suffering from depression and I did some qualitative research with them. So I did a series of in-depth interviews and daily diaries and I spoke to sort of community leaders and uh, religious leaders and healthcare workers um, about the problem of depression. I've found that the most valuable part of the program for me has been the work that I've done under sort of faculty mentors. I've done field work with various people on faculty um, in areas, you know, ranging from, say, circumcision, male circumcision uh, as an HIV prevention strategy to, you know, the use of traditional medicine in rural Western Kenya. Um, so a really wide range of topics, and, you know, some topics I've studied, I haven't been particularly, you know, passionate about the topic itself, but uh, even just the experience of being in the field, working under, you know, an expert has been really invaluable in teaching me, you know, research skills and field work skills. Uh, and so I would say my advice to a prospective student would be to really foster those relationships with faculty mentors.